All right, so we got access controller features trailers. Go to the video. Now, this is the new controller that we watched about a month ago. They dropped a new controller. Uh, what was that? New headset thing, a uh, new earphone. Okay, all right. I'm gonna get all PlayStation. Oh, they're swappable too. Okay, that's actually pretty cool. Stick cap. Oh, okay. Adjustable arm. Oh, snap. R3. Okay, so you can like remap the buttons. Okay. Spoon stick sensitivity in, in dead zone. Okay. You swap between the random. Okay. Position. Flat surface, okay. Arms. And they have like an arm thing so that so the thing won't move and. Okay. You know what? You know what? Pre-order starts July 21st. That's next week. Please see Sean. Okay. Here's what I say about this. I don't know why, but automatically I thought, you know what? This would make like a really good Smash, like not Smash Bro. Sorry, what I was about to say. Street Fighter. Since Street Fighter 6 dropped uh last month, this would make like a this would make like a really good like bro, like Street Fighter like type of thing. Obviously, with the because you guys know, like like uh how like wouldn't go to like arcade. He got like the little thing and like has like the like the few buttons that like you bro this will make like an amazing like Street Fighter controller whatever blah blah blah. So then you can have that. You can also have like a and I think they showed that it could be like a like a like an arm stand. So whenever you're on this controller, it doesn't move off the table. Let me see, hold up. Okay, amps uh compatible mount. Yeah, so the thing won't move. So the controller, like you know, won't move so like it could just be standing in one place and you could just play it. That's sick. I can't lie. That's really, really, really sick. And bro, I would just assume that like this controller would be used for like you know fighting games. Um, I don't know what other games, cause like bro, I imagine a lot of the you know Call of Duty content creators would probably like you know try to go crazy with this. Uh, imagine like playing Call of Duty on this. With this, this, first of all, this would make like a really good video. So if you guys you know do take my idea, make sure you guys I, I want a five percent cut and um. <laughs> But yeah, this would make a really, really, really just like interesting video for like a content creator, you know, to play like Call of Duty or like NBA 2K uh, with a controller like this. Um, you can uh, connect different controllers with it. So that's actually pretty cool. I don't know. At first, whenever they, you know, they, they dropped this, whatever, I was, you know, I was a little skeptical because I'm, skeptical because I'm like, okay, some, you know, I don't want to say all, but like, you know, some gaming companies, they will, you know, drop in, they will drop down an idea and, um, you know, then they will, you know, pull out. So I thought PlayStation, was, you know, was just going to cancel this and the headphone thing, but they're actually going to let this ride out. Um, it looks pretty cool. Again, if, if it was like a like imagine like you have like one controller, right? And like you're playing Street Fighter, you can just like give your controller to your friend and then like, you know, you can just use this like that'll be, you know, that'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, other than that, I mean, I think it's pretty cool. Um, I can't lie. I'm really excited for the headphones and PlayStation uh, earbuds, Bluetooth earbuds. Yeah, I'm really excited for that. I can't lie. Um, but yeah, but other than that, comment down below. What do you guys think about this? Um, yeah, and I'll see you guys later for the next time out and.